Installing Xcode is simple. Open Launchpad, then click on the App Store. Once the App Store has fully loaded, simple search for Xcode in the search box and press Enter. Most likely, the first result will be Xcode, identifiable by its Hammer logo. To the right of Xcode, you will find a cloud icon accompanied by a downward arrow for downloading. Click on it to initiate the download. Click on the Xcode logo. It has a size of 7.6 GB and boasts a rating of 3.6. To verify the version of Xcode you're downloading, click on Version History. The current version is 14.3.1. Now, let's proceed to download the command line tools for Xcode, corresponding to the same version. To download the command line tools, you can find all the necessary links in the GitHub repository page in the video description below. To download the command line tools, you'll need to sign into the Apple Developer website using your Apple ID and password. If you have enabled two-factor authentication, it will prompt you for that as well. Complete the necessary steps and then click on Done. Now, once you're signed into the Apple Developer website, search for command line tools for Xcode. Click on View Details, and then proceed to download command line tools for Xcode 14.3.1.dmg. Its total size is 695.75 megabytes. Once you have the command line tools, DMG file, double click on it to open it. Then, double click on command line tools, PKG to begin the installation process. Click on continue, agree to the license terms, and proceed with the installation. Type in your Mac laptop password and click install software. Now, it's in the process of preparing for installation, which might take some time. In the meantime, why not enjoy a cup of coffee? Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friend and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. To stay updated with more awesome content, your support means the world to me. Thank you. Now that the installation was successful, click on close. Afterward, you can move the installation file to the trash by clicking on move to bin. Open the terminal and type Xcode select install if you wish to install the command line tools from the terminal. Additionally, you can use Xcode select P to display the current Xcode developer directory path. Now, let's head over to the App Store to verify if Xcode has been successfully installed. Congratulations, you're all set. Click on open to get started. Select the platforms you'd like to develop for. We'll go with the default options, as selecting additional platforms would require an additional 3.6GB for watchOS and 3.46GB for tvOS. Type your laptop password and click OK. Once Xcode is open, click on Create a new Xcode project. We are going with default options. So now uh, give you a project name test. Now give organization identifier as Imran Chaush. I will give my own name. So you can also use your own name here. Type Imran Chaush. Now we'll click on next. Okay, now we will create some test folder here. Create test. Now uh, everything what we are doing, we are uh, going with default options. So if you see on the top, let's maximize it if you see on the top so there is 42 uh, building test so once uh, it is complete uh, let's see okay it's running it's a hello world program but it's still in the pro uh, processing okay uh, now let's check the xcode version so minimize that minimize and let's check the xcode version and also uh, we will check our command line tool so all this you will see in this repository so 14.3.1 is our command line tool so xcode is also 14.3.1